everybody welcome to my channel grow leafy i'm alethea today we are going to start the process of germinating seeds remember to press like and subscribe to my channel so what we're going to be looking at are seed packets the little containers that the seeds will be stored in for the next few days until they germinate and then also a storage bin that I got from a local art supply store. And I, I am all about organization and I love it because there are these little containers that go inside there and it stores. <laughs> so it's very convenient to put my seed packets inside of there and then store them inside the bin. So let's take a closer look at how we're gonna get the seeds germinating. We've got, we have thyme. We also have cilantro. This one's from and my gardener and most of the other ones are from true leaf market this one i think i picked it up probably from like home depot but this is spinach dwarf siberian kale and organic russian kale which organic russian kale is by far my favorite but i love kale in general so i really want to try some different kinds of kales dutch broad Left corn salad. Merveille de quatre saisons. <laughs> All right. Swiss chard. Two different kinds of Swiss chard. Bright light Swiss chard. Swiss chard the last year went pretty good. And then I've got these little containers just to show you. So basically, I just took... It was just a little label that you can get from any local store. Pen wrote with my pen on the label, stuck it on the on the little container. That was it. That and I also put the date so that I know when I started this. That's very important just to get an idea. And so I did that for each seed packet. I just put the label on the little container and these containers are cool because they come with a top so it's like your little mini greenhouse for your seeds okay so if it becomes too humid and there's just too much humidity you can always poke a hole in the top if needed or not even that especially if you want to reuse it just leave it propped open just to give it some ventilation all right and my room that i'm in actually stays at about 70 degrees so it's pretty cool the next thing what we're gonna do is just get started with putting the seeds inside. Cut the top of these. These are really tiny. Tiny basil, I'm gonna grab the basil container. You just need a few in each, really. I'm not going to have a whole bunch of basil, basil plants because I'm growing this all indoors. So there's just a few in here. I just have <laughs> five. Maybe I might just put a couple. So I think I want to have about maybe three basil, basil plants. These are already open. This is the cilantro. I grew the cilantro outdoors last year, but I wanted to grow it indoors this time. And it was really great. Get those going. Yeah, there's about five in here. And so basically, let me show you this little container. So basil, let me find the basil box for that. I'm just gonna, See, you just pop it right back in. But I need to seal this up the top so that all the seeds don't just fall out. So I'll do that after. I just want to show you, it's very easy and then it goes inside the bin. All right. So let's cover that up. And then I need to put water in them as well. So I'll do that after. This is, what we got here, spinach. Few. 
just a few because you know sometimes not all seeds germinate I've been very fortunate that most of the time all my seeds do germinate so I haven't had major issues with that I've had a little bit of issues just with one of the seeds last year it was mint maybe you guys have some suggestions maybe I'm not <laughs> germinating it the best but that was the only thing the only pretty much the only one that I was like struggling to germinate so this is the Siberian kale I love kale so I hope I get a good germination with quite a few of these I like to keep the flaps on because a lot of times they have sticky, like a sticky thing here, but this one does not. I might have to seal it up with something else. Maybe put it in a little Ziploc bag. Keep it better secure. See, that's it. And then after this, once I'm finished up with all of this, we're gonna we're gonna put some water inside here, and then we're gonna use a uh, grow not a uh, and then we're going to use a heating mat as well this one oh I wonder if I just let's see I'm trying to do this in a way so I don't have to like just cut the top off but it's just not working the way let's just go ahead away and cut the top corn salad I've never made the corn salad before so this is my first time using this and I'm it looked really great whoops so I'm excited about trying that I'm all about leafy greens and if these germinate you know really well and I have a lot of seeds that have germinated what I can actually do is go ahead and rather than just getting this set up for my hydroponics you can get it set up for the indoor gardening for outdoors but the only thing that i'm just trying to be mindful of is not doing it too early because i don't want to have long lanky um, plants that are not transplanted within an appropriate time. So I don't want to do it too early. It is February, but I don't want to do it too early before my frost date. Swiss chard, bright light Swiss chard. I really need to make some videos to show you how I use my, use my food once I harvest them. How do I prepare them, how I cook them, how I eat them. A lot of times I eat my vegetables and my leafy greens fresh. I try, I actually don't <laughs> cook a lot of them because I like to get all of the nutrients. I don't want to burn any of the nutrients out of it. And so a lot of times I am just, I am actually just eating it fresh and just raw. But I need to do some videos on that too. If you guys are interested, let me know. Press like, subscribe to my channel, send me a comment, and let me know if you want to see how I prepare some of my foods as well. But I do want to show you this container and show you what I've got in here. So it just has a little snap and it just opens up. Isn't that cool? 
really cool. So all of these trays, I just put the seeds inside there. I label it so it's already all organized, so it has all the labels that you need. And seeds, so it's just a lot of storage, a lot of storage space. And you can put multiple seed packets in one container. It really fits. And so if you're concerned about the seeds falling out and getting all mixed together with the different varieties, just put the seed packet maybe in a little Ziploc bag. Like this one is the only one in there, so if seeds fall out, it's okay. But you could, or I could, put a little Ziploc bag inside there to keep it also organized and so the seeds are not getting mixed up with one another. And I just keep this stored in a cool, dark place so there's no moisture. And that's pretty much it. So the next thing that we're going to do now is we are going to put some water inside of these little inside of these little containers. And so let me move these seeds out of the way. Get some more space. And also what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get a tray. And then I'm gonna also use a heat mat as well. But I'm gonna put these on a tray first. And all I'll be using right now is just this little, just a little, uh, what is this called? This is a pump, Greenwood 1.25 gallon home and garden sprayer. That's all that it is, a home and garden sprayer. Has a nozzle on it, just pump it up. Get a little bit of pressure. I don't need too much pressure in this and then I'm just going to put a little bit of water inside of each of these. And then I have a heat mat that I'm going to place this tray under. Okay, just a heat mat. You don't have to use a heat mat. Some people do, some people don't. If I keep it in this grow room that I have, I will use a heat mat because if it gets a little bit cooler or drops down to 68, if it just drops anywhere lower than the 70s, then at least I have a heat mat that this is sitting on to keep it warm. Sometimes I germinate it in another room where, you know, if you find just a, a, a warm room within your home, wherever you live, whether it's an apartment, a home, a house, just wherever you live, your residence, in a room that gets the warmest because the seeds need warmth in order to germinate or they will take a very long time to germinate. But that's it. So this will probably take some seeds sooner than others. Some seeds it might take three days to germinate, four days. It just really depends. It could take five. The time just really determines on the variety of seed that it is and whichever seed just takes longer to germinate. Every seed is different. So you just read the packet because on the packets, the information will tell you how long till germination, how long to maturity. Just read the instructions that's on the packet because it's there for a reason just to educate you on the duration of time, how to even sow your seeds. There's a lot of information on packets.
I really hope you liked this video and I hope that it was helpful in educating you on how to germinate seeds indoors. You can do this for your indoor garden, hydroponically, or you can do this if you're preparing to start seedlings indoors for outdoor gardening. So this is just a very simple method of how to start germinating seeds indoors. If you like this video, please press the like button and please subscribe to my channel and please post a comment if there's more information that you like to know. I'm here for you. I'm here for you to help you. And in return, I am learning and being helped in the process myself. Until then, grow leafy and I'll see you next time.